everyone, this is Yin from Just Like a Breeze. <laughs> Good girl. Hi everyone, this is Yin from Just Like a Breeze and today I'm going to be talking about the dog pacer treadmill. So the dog pacer treadmill is essentially a treadmill for dogs. Now there's a few key players in the dog treadmill market. There's the dog tread and then there's jogger dog and there's fit for life and there's dog pacer. Now dog pacer is on the cheaper end of the scale of these key treadmill makers. So that's what makes it really appealing. So you may be asking why the hell do you need a treadmill for your dog? Why can't you just go run outside of the great outdoors? Well, if you live in America right now, you'll know that it's pretty freaking cold. And if you live in Australia where I am, you know that it's pretty freaking hot. So you can't really walk your dog every day all the time. And then you have a crazy dog, like that, case in point. So that's where the treadmill comes in. Also, there's um, something called an endurance test, which for all you crazy dog folk out there, you should know about it. It's basically testing your dog's endurance, running alongside you on a bike for about 11 kilometers. So I'm training Breeze up for that, and that's where the treadmill also comes in handy. So the dog pace the treadmill is pretty basic. Um, you want to make sure it's got a really long deck so that the dog has enough space to stride out. That's one of the problems with human treadmills. It's usually not long enough and then you get shortening of the stride and that's no good for the dog. Um, the one thing about the dog pacer is also that it's, you can sort of see it's on a permanent incline. It's always inclined and that's what I don't really like about it. Um, I don't want to run breeze on a constant incline. Sometimes I want to target certain muscle groups. I don't want it to build up. Um, muscle groups that I don't really want. It's not good to overload the joints if you're always running on a constant incline. So what I've done is I've basically propped up the tail end of the treadmill with a basic sort of exercise yoga step and that just levels it out so I can run her on a level surface. So let's take a look at the dog pacer treadmill. It's got these canvas sides they just fit into little slots at the base of the treadmill and fits into a bracket on the overhead arm. They're removable so you can take them off if you want or you can just leave them on. I leave them on because I don't want Breeze to just jump off. It's also got this huge overhead arm thing. I don't know what the hell it's for. I'm certainly not going to tie my leash to it. So it's a bit um, of a hindrance besides keeping the sides up and I'll probably remove it eventually. So the dog pacer runs on a manual incline, that's right, you have to adjust it yourself and by doing that you have to adjust this leg under the motor of the treadmill. I've just left it on the highest incline because it's actually pretty freaking heavy and so I don't want to be constantly struggling to lift the front of the treadmill up and adjusting the incline. So let's take a look at the controls of the dog pacer. So as you can see here it's got a computer control so it's got time, speed, distance and calories burnt to see how much calories your dogs has burnt. Let's just turn it on to have a look. Alright so you can switch from different modes on the treadmill. Um, obviously they've also got these pre-programmed um, sort of fitness programs so you can you know sort of customize it to your dog like the speed goes up over time or Something like that. I don't really use it. I use just the manual modes and um, I run it on speed most of the time and I just look at that. Oh. Alright, so we've turned it on. The lowest speed it runs on is 0 0.8, which I don't really like. Um, the other leading treadmill makers, such as Dog Tread, they run it on 0 0.5 at a beginning speed and I prefer that when I'm just starting a dog out on the treadmill for, for, for the first time. So the lowest speed it runs on is 0 0.8 and it goes all the way up to, you know, however, something really high, I don't know, I haven't run it all the way yet, I assume it's like 8 or something ridiculous, let's not run it there. Alright, as you can see, it's a little bit noisy, so if your dog is a bit sensitive to noise, it might be a problem, but so far Breeze has been okay, she's really sensitive to noise but she's been fine with it so I have no problems there with the noise level it's got an emergency stop which you can attach to your shirt or your dog or whatever you want if your dog falls off just pull it and it stops 
that's pretty handy. I've had to use it a few times already. So that's the dog pacer treadmill. On the bright side, it's cheap. Um, so it's good for a basic level sort of, you know, something you run in your own home for your own dog sort of level of treadmill. Um, I like that. You know, it is sort of more portable compared to the other heavier, bulkier models out there in the market, so that's good as well. Um, you can fold it in half and store it under your bed. That's one of the selling points for the dog pacer. Unfortunately for me, I don't find that to be very true, as in it's quite a hassle to fold in half, because it's got little bolts and brackets that you need to undo before you can fold it and put it away. And it's heavy for me, so I don't really use that function, I just leave it out. It's easy to run, you can get it easily anywhere, um, shipping was not that expensive, so for your average fitness pet owner treadmill, I would certainly recommend the dog pacer if you want something more advanced with decline and incline functions, electronic controls and all that sort of mumbo jumbo, then you should go for the more major brands in my opinion. Um, but for me, just running breeze every day, I do think the dog pacer is adequate for us. Do I wish I had spent more on a more advanced expensive model? Yes, but then again, um, the dog pacer at the moment is the only one that's really easily available in Australia um, for the dog tread and things like that. You'd have to import it and that would be a bit more expensive. So that's the dog pacer treadmill. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see how I started to train Breeze on the treadmill, please leave a comment below and I'll see what I can do. She's a very um, sensitive dog. She scares easily. So it was a bit of a challenge to get her to like the treadmill, but now she'll easily get on it. I just need to point and say treadmill and she'll jump on. So if you're interested in seeing how I did that, just leave a comment below and I'll see what I can do. Also, me and Breeze will be at the Melbourne Pet Expo at the Melbourne Showgrounds this weekend. That's the 28th of February to the 1st of March. We'll be there doing a rally obedience demo. So if you're in the area, please swing by and say hi. I'd love to meet you. So thanks so much for watching you guys. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded a video in a while. I've been just so busy. So please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll make sure I'll try and get more videos up for you soon. Thanks. This is Yin, Breeze and Gigi from Just Like a Breeze. We'll see you next time. Bye!